Hi, this is Michael Bianconi from Southern Fire Guitars, and recently I posted a video where I built this three-string primitive slider right here. And I only made it acoustically. There's no pickup in it, but it still had a pretty loud sound to it. So even though this guitar is pretty loud acoustically, I still wanted to have it amplified. But then I thought, do I really want to go through all that, putting a piezo pickup in this, all that work? But then I thought, with this guitar, you don't even have to take the strings off to get in the box. So, it's going to be easy, man. Now, the first thing I want to do is put a jack right back here. Now, I'm going to try to avoid hitting this label here, so I'm going to put it right there. Now, since this wood is pretty thick here in the back where the jack is going to go, what I'm going to do is take this three-quarter inch Forstner bit and drill about halfway into the back of this box right there where the output jack is going to go. A little bit more. About like that. And this output jack right here is three-eighths of an inch. So I have a three-eighths little bit there. And I'm going to drill a hole right in the middle of that. Now my jack's going to fit in just like that. Now right here you can see where I have this bolt as the bridge here. So I'm just going to kind of go inside the box here and kind of just eyeball where the bridge is, which is about right there. Now the little piezo pickup that I'm going to put in here is this one right here. It's 27 millimeters around. And I'm going to put it right there. But first I'm going to take this Forstner... Uh, inch and a quarter uh, Forstner bit and I'm going to drill a little hole in here to recede this pickup. I'm going to try to get uh, the hole down to the top of the box. maple it's very hard so I'm almost there you see the dark wood coming up from the top of the box and you can see I'm right to the top of the box right there now what I also have done I put a little notch there I think you could see that just a little V notch using this little saw Cut a little bit this way a little bit that way just to give a little space for the wire to come through to go to the output jack which is over there now let's hot glue this bad boy in there I went ahead and wired or soldered the little piezo pick up to the jack and now before I glue it in there I just want to make sure that it works all right it's all good okay now I'm gonna put a little hot glue in this little hole here and get ready to put the piezo in it Very hot, by the way. Ok, 
Okay, I've got hot glue on the bottom. Now I'm just going to put a little more glue over the top. Just like that. A little glue there to hold the wire. And just let that dry. Here's a little closer view of the piezo in there with the glue. Still drying, so I'm just going to let it sit just like that until it dries. And then I'll put the jack in the box and we'll see what it sounds like. Well, the hot glue is dried. I have the jack installed. Let's close this thing up and see if we can get some noise out of this thing. Here are the settings on the Vox Mini 5 Rhythm Amp. And I'm also using this cordless guitar receiver and transmitter. Well, let's see if we can squeeze some sound out of this thing. I think this thing sounds pretty good for a primitive cigar box guitar slider. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Now if you missed the video of the building of this thing from start to finish, I'll leave a link right up here. If you like cigar box guitar videos, you know, building them, playing them, playing them, and building them, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And if you want a cool cigar box guitar t-shirt like this one, I'll leave a link below as well. From the backwoods, my name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, uh, uh.